Okay, day, I don't know, something of the water wheel project. Anyway, we've made some progress with the flume. I did some stuff with my brother yesterday and he's now going back to London, so it's me on my own again, but we have made this kind of progress. So, got the scaffolding up. I'm really pleased with it. And, we've got the first first wrap around here this one I'm gonna do another one there and then I'm gonna saw these off here and here so you get a nice straight edge to connect the two and yeah but lots more of these lots of them like 10 and they take quite a while so here we go Each frame is screwed to the sides and bottom of the channel. The clamps are there to squeeze the two L sections which make up the channel together with the aim of reducing gaps. As you'll see later, this didn't work particularly well. The frames also get a carriage bolt in each corner locking everything together. These frames are repeated all along the flume sections. As soon as I was done, I couldn't wait to get water along it. It leaked like a sieve, as you can see, but I left it hoping the wood would swell, sealing the gaps. This worked up to a point, but later I corked it with sealing. This is nowhere near all the water. And at the time of filming it, it had been very dry for a long time, so this is the lowest flow I've seen in my life. At the time of editing, the water flow is much more healthy, and the water wheel is producing a lot more electricity. Next, I needed to make a connecting channel to bridge the gap between the sluice gate and the flume. This is sized so it fits just inside the flume, which is also the right width to fit in the sluice gate. As you can see, when walking outside, I get quite a few visitors. I later ripped down the sides so that during storm conditions, excess water will flow over the sides, preventing the wheel or electrical system from being overloaded. At the time, I thought it was almost a shame to put a wheel in. It made such a good shower, if a little cold. And by a little cold, I mean very cold. It did make an amazing wake up though. Altogether, it's really strong and rigid. At this point, the channel isn't fixed to the scaffold, so it can be adjusted later. But even so, there is no deflection as I walk on it. As it is, I'm super happy with it. Any questions, leave them in the comments down below and subscribe to see the rest of the project.